This is Paul Shaka with Scott Walkinshaw, head coach of the cross country team. Uh, the women's team was in Colorado on October 1st for the Rocky Mountain Shootout. What place did you take and was that up to your expectations? You know, we ended up in our division, which was the non-Division One race. We were second behind the University of uh, Mesa, University of Colorado Mesa out of Grand Junction. And, you know, as far as the expectations, probably exceeded a little bit. You know, we weren't too concerned about what place going in. It's only our second meet of the year. Um, we were in one big race. There was 270-plus runners with some Division One schools and some Division Two. You know, just going through the transition this year in the NCAA, we, you know, we're not overly concerned with, with how we place. But to end up second, we were really pleased. We were down there two years ago, and we ended up third. And Leanne Bordewick, former Leanne Whiteside, is the only turning runner that had ran two years ago when we were down in Boulder. And she ran about a minute 40 faster than she did uh, two years ago on the exact same course. So uh, she was our second girl. It just seemed like we really competed well. The next meet is the Yellow Jacket Invitational right here in Spearfish. What are the advantages of having a meet at home? You know, the biggest advantage really is just competing in front of fans because we very rarely do. So the fact that, that we're competing at home, all of these athletes have friends that want to come out and watch them run. There will be a lot of fans. There will be some people in the community that come out. Of course, parents always love to come to Spearfish and spend the weekend, but to be able to spend it with their son or daughter that's on the team and watch them compete will really be a treat. So that's probably, again, the biggest advantage. It's tough to get teams to come all the way out here uh, for a couple reasons. One is the distance, and we're used to traveling. Our closest meet's Rapid City, but beyond that, we've got to go quite a ways to get to a meet. Our men, two weeks ago, uh, they were in St. Paul, Minnesota, and of course our women this weekend in Boulder. So for teams to come out is a real treat, and this weekend's going to be good. We have a former athlete that's coaching at the University of Mary, Dennis Newell, and Dennis has done a tremendous job. He's got a very good team. He's got a very good women's team, and they're nationally ranked, I believe, in the top 10, and so they're going to be coming out, and they're going to be tough. They won the GRIAC a week ago and ran very well and beat a good Augustana team. On the women's side, he's got a fairly good group of men. He's got a group that's going to run unattached. We've got an alumni team that's coming back to run against you know everybody so that's going to be fun in its own right just to see the guys but also they've continued running and they're in pretty good shape and they're actually going to be a pretty tough team uh, but again you know going back to the question it's just it's just fun to compete at home uh, our course is challenging our course is challenging for our team but it's also very challenging for the teams that come in and it has a reputation uh, it's, it's one of the absolute toughest courses in the country and people know that it's very difficult to run a fast time on our course for two reasons. One, it's tough, of course, to run, uh, but also because of the altitude.